hi everyone welcome back to your channel recently i received some requests from you which was asking how you can configure keycloak on docker container and also that how you can uh, set up the smtp server in docker so i decided to make video in this regard and then teach you that how you can first uh, set up the key clock on the container and then how you can configure the SMTP server. So if you are interested in this topic, stay with me until end and let's get started. First, I want to show you that there is the, um, the, the site for the download of the key clock now currently is version 26.2.0 and there is the the section for container image which for docker for kubernetes and openshift so if you click on that one then you will see the command which is here it's a red one has mentioned how you can run on Docker container. This is this is a command. Uh, this is actually the, uh, the the command for container. And also, if you want to run it, then you can use this this command to run the container. So I won't go through all this process. What I have done by myself in my Docker container, and then let's see uh how is it okay first we have to make sure we already installed the docker in i i have installed the docker on my site uh, my environment if you don't know how to do that i will drop the link then you will you can watch that video to see how you can install it but before that we jump to the topic just I want to make sure we already have it and then how you can make sure uh, you need to create the one uh, we can say the, the folder for me I created one folder as a key clock dash docker and let's just go to cmd command and here I want to see the docker version no? okay in that case Right, the Docker version. Then you would see such this kind of the response for your Docker. Yeah. Then you have to make sure for the Docker compose, which is also necessary. Here you go. Then you have to make sure you already have the docker compose as well now we are ready to install this uh, in the in the docker container but before that we have to set up the one yaml file so you can see here i already have the one yaml file i uh, name it as a docker dash compose so let's see the file this is the the yaml file which i have and uh don't worry for this uh file i will drop this file in github and then you can download this file from that environment so this here you can see the version and the i'm, I'm explaining the most important part as you can see this is the image file which uh, you will get it again it is similar in in the website and i drop the latest one we can capture the latest version which already is available over there that's why i put it as a latest then you can uh define the your key clock admin as a, a, a the password by default for uh admin user and then for the db i'm using the postgres 
And this is the JDBC of the address for the Postgres. So I, I drop it here. And then also I define the username for the key, uh, for that DB. As in key clock and the password as, uh, the password. Then here you have the, the mail host, which I configured here. This is uh, important when you want to have it in your, uh, the Docker, you have to configure it here as well. And then also the port. This, uh, the email or SMTP server and the, the port, it's up to you. Now I'm using the Gmail. So this is the, the server and the port in case you are using another server then or third party server then you have to drop that third party server here this is the email uh, or the gmail which you are going to use it and this is the authentication true again that is the the the, the email or the gmail which you are going to use as the the username and the password of that. Uh, so this is this is the the email which is from that email. It will push the email to the uh, client, and this is the username of that. And this is the password, which is the one-time password, and you can get it from the Gmail. I'm teaching you how you can get this uh, password from Gmail, but for other servers or SFTP servers, sorry, SMTP servers, it's different. So let don't uh, focus on this part because I will teach you again. I will get back to this part and then to teach you how, how you can do. Uh, so let's continue to to see that how you how you need to configure it. Then this is the port which is going to be actually run your keycloud server you can change it here i drop it as a default 8080 you can do whatever you want and this is the uh the db part and this is the command which also i mentioned in the environment of the keycloud already has mentioned about this part so image for the DB is a Postgres DB, and this is the uh, uh, the DB. I, I name it as a key clock, username, and also the password is a password. This exactly the same should be here. Here also the password, and here is also key clock. So this is again, this is the volume for the Postgres. You can use this command for. Uh, configuring this YAML. After you configure it, you have to save it as a .yaml. You can see here this file actually is docker-compose.yaml and you will you will find also this file in my folder. Okay, now everything is set it up and now you have to go to the to the command of that file, directly of the that file, and drop this command for running into, uh, running in your Docker compiler. But before that, because already I have the, my key clock Docker, let me just remove this to show you how it will be done as a real. Let me just delete it. Okay, now I don't have any environment on my Docker. And I want to drop the command here. You can use this command and enter. When you are uh, using this actually command, maybe for the first time you will see more file will be downloaded, but it's already downloaded. So you don't need to do anything. And now I want to make sure it's everything is fine. So 
it's give me the some information that okay how many uh, environment it's already installed this is something it's before before and you can see this is the key clock docker for the db and the uh, key clock uh, docker for for the key clock so in that case you should have the two let's get back to the key clock docker and you will find it in here and if i want to run it is it will be run in localhost 8080 okay now i am going to localhost 8080 and you will find this information here let me just uh, admin and admin as a username and password here you go now we have the key clock already set it up and it's in docker container 